Is it Slim from uh, Slum City Poker back at you? I know it's been a while, but um, something happened with my old laptop. Uh, my dog ended up jumping on it, and it destroyed the hard drive. So there for a while, I didn't have a laptop. Got a new badass laptop, and today we're going to be playing on America's Card Room, or ACR, because I got an email today. I haven't had any money in that account for a while, so they sent me 10 bucks to draw me back into the table. So we'll be playing on there, and the plan is to take this $10 that they gave us, thank you ACR, and try to run it up to 1000 It's a heck of a challenge, and let's see if we can do it. So with that being said, let's find a room. I'm thinking about five, two cent, five cent, just to you know preserve our stack a little bit um, we don't want to get crazy on the five cent ten cent we only have one buy-in on the five cent ten cent so the two cent five cent seems like a better option to me right now with a ten dollar with a ten dollar balance but I cannot find a table anywhere. So I'd like to play nine handed. Well, we got one cent, two cent, but eh. I mean, I guess I could get a lot of a lot of hands in on a, on a small game like this. So eh, we'll go ahead and play one cent, two cent. Uh, max buy in two dollars. Okay. And excuse me, guys, it's been a while since I played America's Card Room. I'm usually on ignition. So here I am, White Boy Slam. Got the alien avatar. Uh, we got the auto muck on. Oh, you can straddle here, so that's cool. So we got two dollars on the one cent, ten cent. If you guys hear any noise, I have an AC running in the background. I'll probably be turning it off soon. Uh, so I hope you guys have been having good luck at the tables. Hope you guys have been running well while I've been uh, going on my break. I have been playing live and uh, racking up pretty well. Uh, but I want to get back into the action online. Uh, mainly just to do you know these little tutorial videos. I get, I've gotten a lot of feedback, some positive feedback about the videos. Some people are learning from me. And once somebody asked me if I could do a video on what types of cards to play and to fold preflop because they said they were playing cards like queen three offsuit when I would fold them preflop don't play queen three offsuit that <laughs> the only thing the only time I could think of playing queen three offsuit would be in like a tournament situation where you have to shove for binds um, yeah I can do that I can put together some sort of like range chart for myself but I mean if you watch the videos you're gonna see what I fold and what I play and there's perfect reason for it um, cash games are so much different than tournaments because the blinds don't go up you have um, the art of patience that you have to master you can just sit and wait for a hand you don't have to play queen three offsuit so just watch you know what I play preflop and, and what I don't and sometimes I'll make an unorthodox move when I think aggression will get the job done but if I'm playing it safe then I'm just sitting back and waiting for a hand so here we go we're just gonna jump into it next hand I'll be in a big block I like America's card room I really do I think the little setup I think like the graphics and all look neat so it's nice to be back and I picked this background setting and I pick those type of cards which remind me of I think was it uh, not full tilt but poker stars type uh, cards that were used in a lot of the videos from like you know Doug Pope videos stuff like that it just reminds me of the poker stars stuff so Jack 7 offsuit nothing to scream but scream about here Guess I'm putting a dip in. You know, I always play poker with a dip in. Raised a six cents from the button. I kind of want to defend that. I'm just going to defend it. 
and it's probably going to be a check fold. This is why I hate defending when I get a good price. Uh, good price to defend. Just couldn't hit this flop. And they're going to see bet. See bet three quarters of the pot, pretty much. Sorry, guys. And he's just got to fold this one. You know, if we could have hit two sevens on that flop, which is, I know, it's very optimistic, but we would have smashed his range. And we got a good price to defend a big blind. I'm not calling that in under the gun middle position. I'm not doing anything with that hand. But you know, we got button raised for defending the big blind. I want to complete here. Just to complete. I want to show you guys hands. I don't want to sit here and fold the whole video. And I don't want to make a video that's too long where you guys don't want to watch it. So let's show some hands here. Maybe we can check raise somebody off of this. Very weird line to take here, check raising. I think that we'll just check and fold. Yep, check fold. Remember, like, we're not trying to get super aggressive and make super crazy moves this early. We have a $10 stack, so. We really have to be patient, sit back and wait for the nuts. It could take us six months to run this 10 bucks up to $1,000. But, hey, you know, it would be achieving a goal. So let's really see if we can do it. I really would like to achieve that goal. So we're going to flat on the button with pocket threes. I could three bet squeeze here, but that essentially kind of be turning my threes into a bluff. So I'm just going to flatten set mine. The implied odds on hitting the set two would be great. So the three comes will be good. If not, there might be some other options or we might just have to fold. But I don't think there's any, with these small stakes, there's really no fold equity. I should have did what that person did. But then I think I would have got jammed on. Cincy Joe. Yeah, I think I would have got jammed on by Cincy Joe if I would have tried to squeeze there. So it's a good thing we didn't. Now, if these two call, it's going to be hard to fold these threes. <sighs> okay, let me see here. Pot is 72 cents. It's 25 cents to call. It's fairly good price to call. And... We know we're beat, probably, but we're getting a fairly good price to call in one late, late position, so we'll just take one flop. One of these crazy flops that we did not hit. The implied odds for hitting this flop were, would have been great, but unfortunately, it's not happening. I can maybe run a move on this guy, but... He's playing very, very strong. This should be a definite fold here, but I'm thinking if I flat him, will he slow down and let me steal on the turn? And no, that's not the case. So. If he would have checked the turn, I would have tried to steal, but I think they were pretty polarized there. I think they were at the very top of their range, for all I know. I just got here. But fishing from a set is never profitable. You know, I'm just, I guess I'm just, you know, I'm trying to preserve this stack and get a good double up in just to, you know, get some momentum in. And, and build this ten dollar stack, but at the same time, I've got to be careful, and I've got to play good poker. That call on the flop was bad poker. That was bad. Should not have. Well, there's the flop that I needed. Flop lag. Always one behind, right? 
Alright guys, let me go turn this AC off. I don't have one of the remotes. Okay, all set. Ready to go. Yeah, that would have been nice to see that last time. Just want to get something going. Really want to get something going here. And I guess maybe I was trying to force that pocket three sand. I was hoping they would slow down. Let me make a move, but no, they were strong. Unless they just like the bet. I'm assuming the field should be fairly weak. A nine. The field should be fairly weak at the lowest stakes you can possibly play ever on any online poker site. One cent, two cent. I'm definitely not used to this. I've never played one cent, two cent. This is my first time. I guess you guys would like to know that. We're going to fold here. Take this off. This bracelet. It's always banging around on the table. This might require some patience unless we run good. I want to see Cincy Joe's cards. I want to see a showdown. I want to see what this guy's up to. He definitely likes to play some pots. If I had deposited money on this account, I'd be in here splashing around, but we're trying to nurture a $10 stack that was given to us. ACR gave us $10 in promo money. That is cash money. Um, if we run it up to 100, then we can withdraw that money. So I really want to nurture it. I don't want to put it in harm's way. But I'm still going to play my game. So one mistake already this session was calling that flop with pocket threes. Calling pre-flop not so bad. If the third person would have called pre-flop, it would have been a fine call. But not so bad pre-flop. But the call on the flop with the threes, terrible. Don't do that at home. I'm forcing it. I need to sit back and chill. Chill. So, it'd be interesting to hear how you guys are doing at the tables, what uh, sites are you guys playing on, what stakes, uh, you know, how, how good are you guys running, you guys got any bad beat stories, you know, put them down in the comments. Um, if you want to see me work this challenge all the way through to the to the $1,000, uh, you know, please hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell for the channel notifications button. That way, you get notified every time I upload a video. We're going to run this $10 up to $1,000. I'm pretty confident in that. Wow, that guy just had the nut flush. And if you guys see me looking this way, I have a 55-inch 4K TV that I am HDMI to. So I've got this screen, like full screen, on the TV also. So sometimes I like to look over there and, and watch and play. It looks really cool on my big ass TV why well, stare at a 15 inch laptop screen why well, you stare at a 55 inch 4k TV screen so you guys will be seeing a lot I hope this is the good side of my face and like I've said before guys I don't expect any poker player the place for a living, or the grinds, to take anything away from these videos. Um, there have been a couple trolls that tell me how bad I am, blah, 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 but you're going to get that anywhere. This is for the beginners. This is for you guys that, that want to learn, that don't know what cards to play pre-flop, uh, don't know bet sizings, uh, don't know timing tells, um, maybe don't even know you know what blinds are and what a straddle is that's th these are for you guys these are for the people that want to start playing poker and are going to have to start playing at the smallest stakes 
And it's a challenge for myself, too, to see what I can do with this $10 that um, ACR gave me. But as you can see, we're very card dead, pocket threes being the best hand that we've had. Okay, this is a hand that we can play. I'm not going to raise it because we have a lot of raise happy people at this table. So, if somebody raises, we can still call. Plus, we're in early position. Let's see, we're going to call that raise probably. It's a button raise. And we're getting a good price now. Eight cents to come in. Ah. We flopped the gut shot for a five. We have back door straight options. So I'm going to check, and the button's going to bet here. Just try. Oh, he didn't bet. We still have the gut shot. Surprised that did, the button didn't, didn't throw the bet out. So we're going to check and see what he bets this time around. He's going to get this straight in. He's going to have to. Uh, and that's a little too pricey to be calling to hit a gut shot. Especially with a paired board. I know it looks pretty, guys. I know you think that five is just going to nail the river, but it usually doesn't. Okay, so we're just gonna fold it. We wasted too much money chasing a <laughs> chasing a set anyway. Okay, basically the same hand, but it's not suited, so it has a little less playability. So we're under the gun and we're gonna fold it. We have to tighten our range in this position. So that hand is not in our range for an under the gun call or raise. Not with the way these guys are raising and playing. I, they're splashing around a little bit. And I don't by any means think that $2 on a poker table is any type of significant amount of money. But you don't win if you don't treat it like it is. So we're going to treat this $2 buy-in that we started with like it is a significant amount of money. And we're going to play smart. A lot of because a lot of these guys will treat this two dollars like yeah let's splash around it's two bucks we'll just keep buying in. Well, we're here to exploit those people. So down seventy one cents for me getting stupid with pocket threes and look I'm gonna see threes on the flop every single flop now. We basically have one playable hand which was that. Pocket three is handy. I need to let it go. Let it go, Eric. Let it go. I just keep seeing that three on the flop now. Uh, I just always like to win the first hand. I know you guys always like that too when you sit down. Lose a little bit. We lost. Like 40% of our stack. For no reason at all. Okay, big blind with Jack three offsuit. Uh, not looking to defend unless everybody's in this hand. Maybe we can make a move if the situation's right. I just don't know what these guys are doing enough. Guy in a small blind has seven dollars, which is a big stack for a one cent, two cent table. Not gonna be defending this, I don't think. That guy is so short stacked, he's just waiting for somebody to re raise so he can get it in. I guarantee you. Eventually, I'll try to squeeze. I'd like to win a hand or two first. We'll go ahead and limp in because the price is right. Let's see if oh. okay, we're just not hitting flops. 
nothing on that flop for us. No draw, nothing. So hopefully we get a free card. And we still have nothing. We have queen high, no draw. Queen or seven on the river would be good, I think. At this point, I couldn't expect anyone to have an ace or two pair. And we river an open ended straight draw. I just, I don't ever think we're good here. Somebody's holding a king. Somebody will call down with king high here. Somebody could hold a three. We're just never good here. Never good here with Queen High. Okay, it gives a good hand on the button. Wow, well, pocket sixes, that's not too bad. It's our best hand we've seen. And of course, this pot's going to get inflated before the flop. Just hope nobody three bets. I might three bet myself. Maybe we can get it all in with the best hand here. Yeah, I think we're just going to go ahead and get it all in here. I think most of the time here we're going to have the best hand. And it's under repped because we are on the button. So hopefully we just take down what's in the middle. And... If anybody does call, hopefully we're ahead. And it's just a flip. If I made a mistake, we'll rebuy. Wonder if this person calls. Oh wow. We were wrong. We need a six and only a six. Bad time to squeeze against pocket kings. That's pretty bad. All right, two dollars. Oh. Two dollars. Yeah, that was bad. I I would have expected them to have ace king ace queen. Really wasn't seeing uh, pocket kings in that situation there. But they snap called me as they should. So we've gotten ten dollars in our account and we've lost two of it so far and here's our pocket sixes again. We'll play them a little differently this time. If that player would have had ace, king, ace, queen, our um, semi bluff pre flop with the best hand would have worked. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to go ahead and raise this up. Oh, it's got a little dial on it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and raise this up. We got a good position. Got the cut off in the hand, the button in the hand, and the blinds left to act. So they should be folding most of the time, and they're not. Looks like we really need a six this time. Okay. We're going to have to see bet the flop. We're going to have to see bet this flop, although I don't like it. The four people in the hand, four other people, any one of them holding a club, most likely to have a decent club, but we'll try it anyway. Nobody has the ace or king of clubs. They should be folding. And there it is. It's enough to get me out. Ah, no club. We were behind anyway, so. Glad they didn't flat on us. We're folding this. Guys, I'm playing bad today. This is my first day back since the last video I put out. Um, 
like I said, I've been playing live, but live 2.5 is, it's so much more enjoyable for me, uh, the live atmosphere. I like it. I, f I enjoy doing it. Um, it's easier when I play 2.5. Um, the decisions that people make are smarter, more responsible decisions, usually. And you just don't see too many people splashing around with some unorthodox methods and unusual marginal holdings that you wouldn't put them on. But so far, I mean, we've run into decent hands. So we've run into kings and queens. So I guess nobody's really too out of line here. So maybe I'll have to take note of that. Okay, we folded 3-4. Would have been a decent flop for us. Nothing great. A lot of turn cards that could improve our hand, but it wouldn't have. Keep forgetting about the TV. It's so nice to see it over here. I'd lay back on my couch and just watch the TV, but I've got the camera going here. Ah, somebody's name. I just caught that. The guy's name Silky Slim 2000. My name's Slim, son. Silky Slim. I'm going to have to stack this guy just for his name. White Boy Slim is the only Slim. There's only room enough for one Slim in this poker room. Check nine. Yeah, nine. Ace six. Oh, so he had the straight. He had the gutter ball. The eight. Ace ten. Ace ten under the gun. We're gonna let's try something different. We're gonna min raise because we can call a three bet. And if somebody does three bet and we call, hopefully they think we're calling their three bet light. Which this is a little light, but not as light as they would suspect. But we get a walk. So that did not work. Big blind with nine deuce offsuit. Wow, a men raise gets through everyone. Under the gun, men raise gets through everyone on the table. And all I had was ace 10. Ace 10, not one of my favorite hands. Sometimes I'll walk ace 10. Okay, we're going to check this. Definitely not going to try to maneuver pre flop with nine deuce offsuit. Yeah. The big blind. Oh, they got hotkeys for checking. F2, that's nice. So I, I like ACR. Should play more on this site. I've never had cash out problems with America's card room. Never. Even back when it was Doyle's room, I was, yeah. I was playing on it when it was Doyle's room. We never, I've never had a problem. So we have a gutter ball for a queen. I'm not going to chase here. I'm just looking for the hotkey, sorry. A gutter ball for a queen. We wouldn't want the queen of clubs to roll off. So three queens. And, you know, if the queen hits, any ace beats us. So there's no way we can call for the gutter. We wouldn't have hit it. We would have made a pair on the river. He had the queen, so he had the straight. Four or five suited in the small blind. Decent small blind hand. This is a Daniel Negreanu type hand here. We may raise with this hand, depending on what's going on. Let's say if the button folded and we raised, since he Joe, I think, would defend. I 
I'm 5x in the blind here. I just noticed that. I gotta get used to this smaller stake stuff. Well, you can't get too much worse than that. Bop a parent and open ender. And turn trips. And they may have completed their flush. <laughs> and they completed their flush. Wow. Turn trips. Bet it, they call it. Okay, so we are in the game now for six dollars. Was not expecting a run like this. Wow. Wow, that last hand was a bit of a cooler. Maybe I should have sized my bets a little bit better. Well, I mean, I bet three-fourths pot on the flop and the turn. I'm betting three-quarter pot. So flopped a pair and an open-ender, turned trips. They hit the flush on the river. I should have known. They were chasing the flush, and in the back of my mind, I did know that. I just, with the bad running, I just did not want to fold trips there. I wanted to pick up a decent pot. However, we're not out of it. We have six bucks left on the account. We're not out of the running here, especially with a one cent, two cent table that I didn't even know they had. Deuce three suited, wheel cards. Steel wheel cards. We may limp here. Even though I don't like to limp. Because I'm not sure if I'm going to want to call a big raise. If it's raised up here pre-flop. Like this. But with this player, maybe. This would be the one player I did call. And now I'm probably going to get priced in. Eight cents more to win thirty-three. Four to one to flop two pair. Just hope that we don't get sucked down on. We're gonna have to take this pot down now, so we don't get counterfeited. Bottom two pair is so vulnerable and it's counterfeited so much. Okay, that three fourths that didn't work. So we're going to bet a little more. We're going to bet almost pot here. We're going to get action from Ace-King. We can probably get re-raised from Ace-King, and then we can get it in. Um, maybe even King-Queen. We just don't want the board pairing. We don't want to see a King, that's for sure. I would have to bet that our player does not have ace five. So no less than a pot size bet left after this. There's just no way I can leave myself with a pot size bet here. And it looks looks pretty safe, so I think if they call turn they have to call river here. Don't think the eight changes much for anyone. If they call turn they have to call river. Aces, we crack aces. So there we go. We get two bucks of the four that we lost back. Queen Jack offsuit and middle position. We can limp with it, but not really interested in raising this. Game. Wow, aces. I knew they were strong. I thought maybe ace king or king queen, but didn't see the aces coming. Seems like. A few people here are button raising 100% of the time. Don't
don't know if this guy is. I know Silky Slim does. Seems like Crab Trap does. I, I wish I would have taken the time to put up a HUD. But we'll go ahead and call the extra seven cents. Take a flop. Let me flop top pair. Only thing we're worried about here is Ace Jack and King Jack. And if they hit that, they'll bet this flop. Use a little bit of pot control here. That's what we didn't want to see. So there was an argument for betting the flop to prevent that from happening. A lot of players float with an ace anyway. So could end up with the same result if we bet the flop or not. I think at this point we just have to let it go. We'll be fishing for a jack or a queen, and the queen may not be good. So I think we just let it go. Oh well. These like semi marginal decent hands here. I'm gonna raise it up to ten. Seems like a standard open here. Seven to ten cents on a one cent, two cent, which is to me is ridiculous, but that seems what the standard is on this table, so Right now, we really would like to get our stack to $6 just to break even. And then work this again in another session. It's pretty draw heavy. We opened it up. So let's try a C bet here. Maybe we can represent Ace King. We cannot. Triple barrel is not going to work. Let's see if we can peel a free one. Let's see what they bet here. They may pick up on our weakness from the check. And they do. Ugh. It's terrible, terrible, terrible. C bet does not work. We fold. Let it go. Next hand. Just felt like that was a flop that needed. C betting, even though with a 5x raise pre flop, a king jack board should hit their range more than it would ours. So maybe I should have just checked the flop. But hey, that's how we get better, right? We make mistakes. I am, I'll be the first one to tell you the mistakes that I make. I make mistakes all the time. All the time. But you guys are here to watch them. You guys are here to see the mistakes that I'm making and the negative impact that they have on your stack. Okay. I don't mind being the guinea pig for you guys. It's free money. Come on. I'm not playing too bad. Five, six suited. Definitely a limp for money in the gun. Maybe call a raise, maybe not, depending. So many things are relative, you know, just depends. Guys are taking long enough, huh? 
Okay, so we got a pretty hefty raise. We got a 5x raise, position raise. I'm probably going to call it. Uh, they folded, so it makes it easy enough for me to fold. Would have flopped an open ender. I have a feeling I'd have to pay for it. Oh, they checked it. Still have an open ender and nothing else. We've got six high. It would have hit nothing, but I have an, an inclination that if we would have stabbed at this pot, we would have took it down. Ace high, maybe. King high. Yeah, we could have took the pot. We would have called a raise. Oh, best hand in poker. And for those of you that don't know, there are 169 starting combinations of whole cards, and this is ranked 169. Worst hand in poker, actually. So we will not be defending with this hand, especially to a 3-bet of 22 cents. We can fold rather quickly here. What is this button here? This TV button. What does this do? A link to share this table has been copied to your clipboard. Oh, I can share the table. And I guess people can watch, can come watch. So I guess I can go to Facebook and click the link or send it to somebody's messenger and click the link. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's go to Facebook. Send it to my buddy Josh. He plays on ACR too. Send it to my buddy Josh. After we play this hand. We'll probably call a little rebase here. I don't know. Be a little bit strong if he did raise. Being as though it's the only two of us in the pot. Reason for him to push us around. We got a gutter ball for a ten, but if a ten comes and ace beats us, he could be he could have been raising with an ace. So probably just gonna fold this pretty quickly. Okay, back to uh, go to Josh. Probably shouldn't be, but Josh, where'd you go, Josh? There you are. Message and copy this link. We're going to re-raise this. 10. Not, well, 12 cents because my button slipped there. Does he defend? No, he does not. Facebook here. And then I can just check on my cell phone to see if he's gotten the message.
I wonder what that does. I wonder if it works on mobile. Like, if he's on mobile, if he can just click that link and watch me play. I'm doing it on my phone to see if I can actually. <laughs> go to my phone. And I don't know if you can see it, but this is all I'm getting on my phone. I don't know, I don't know if it hasn't loaded yet. It didn't do anything. Oh, it says download and play poker, so I guess you have to download it to your phone also. I didn't know you could even download this to mobile, but if he's nine times out of ten, he'll be on a laptop anyway, so you can just hit the link and watch, because I know he plays on the site. He said he was thinking about loading his account the other day because they have some nice tourney coming on the site here soon, some sort of good value tournament that he wanted to play. And I can only imagine if there are a thousand of you viewers are going to go troll Josh now that I put his name out there on YouTube. Hope he doesn't mind. Sorry, Josh. It was uh, with good intentions. But at least you made it on the blog. <laughs> what do we have? Three six? Actually, nothing really. Good old third pair. Which is not good. Somebody has a 10, I think. I think maybe they both have 10s. Yeah, they had a deuce. Oh, he had a flush draw. Maybe the other. No. I don't know what the other person had. Flush draw also that didn't make a pair, perhaps. We can fold this easy by using, yeah. using the hot keys. It's so nice. Bam, fold. Like the hotkeys. I, I don't know if Ignition has hotkeys. I've never like experimented with the settings or anything. But uh, I like ACR. I don't like the anonymity of Ignition. I like being able to take like physical notes on players. Like if they're donkeys, I can follow them around and at least know, you know who I'm up against. ACR provides that. So it looks like we're not stuck because the max buy-in is two dollars, but we are stuck. Let's see, we're in the game for six dollars, and our stack is three fifty-two, so we're down to two forty-eight according to my math. We're down two dollars and forty-eight cents, which is not bad because we were down a little over four dollars. Just playing bad, making a few mistakes, and bad run outs. Well, one bad run out. It's not like I'm just getting bad beating all over the place. I am making mistakes. I guess I can turn that volume down. It's playing in the background on my sound system too, and you guys don't need to hear all that. I'm going to come sweat me on my $1,000 challenge.
I would like to know what that rank does. I'll have to tell him to send me one sometime when he's on the table. What did we have? Jack three, so we have a pair of a bottom pair. Four cards to a straight. Guys, over seven dollars. Good stack for once and two cent. We do have the second biggest stack. A fold king ten. It just gets me in trouble. Oh, hotkey. But uh, yeah, we have the second biggest stack, but we are stuck. So we are now trying to get all the way unstuck. So we would have flopped a pair and a gutter ball. Turn trips. Expect to fold there. Yep. It's one instance I should have played King Ten. And there's King Ten again in the big blind. So maybe we'll get to see it for cheap. I, I, that King Ten is a hand that I just definitely do not like to play. Ah, uh, we may be playing it this hand though, since we've already got money invested. Button raise here. This crab trap seems to be raising from the button. Let's see, did it again. So we're gonna flatten this button raise. Good, give us a good price, and of course. Neither pair on this flop. Now, if small blind doesn't leave, we can check and maybe float the button's raise. Don't expect him to have anything most of the time here but an ace or a decent king. I'm going to check it back, see if we can get a bet out of him. And if he does bet, I think we're going to flat. This is what we wanted. Was no ace on the river. I think if anybody had king, queen... King Jack, they would have bet the turn. Ace Queen. Okay, so I would, yeah, I was hoping somebody hit the river. And like I said, we didn't want to ace on the river, and I was right. So thank God for the Queen hitting. Let's us win a small pot. Of how much was that pot? 35 cent pot, which is a decent one cent, two cent pot. I guess what I'm doing in my mind with this one cent, two cent game is taking away the decimals and pretending that this is one dollar, two dollar, and saying that I have 371 dollars in my stack instead of three dollars and 71 cents. Because that way, it allows me to play a bit better and make better decisions. And it makes me refrain from splashing around just because it's so cheap. So we're going to look at it like that. We're going to look at it like it's a dollar, two dollar table. And hopefully it can keep us in check as far as it just being so cheap, you know, to draw out and to chase cards. We don't want to do that, especially with what I'm trying to do with $10 and run it up to 1000 We definitely aren't going to do that by chasing a lot of cards. So this is a hand that we're not going to raise because we're going to get called by the small and big blind, I believe, by the way the table dynamic is. So we'll just flatten the button. 
flatting from the button has become more popular now too so it's not necessarily a bad play especially with our holding nothing wrong with flatting the button here we hit a pair and we have position so if it goes check check I should be able to bet and then it should go fold fold hopefully but not right like that all the time I will have to flat call one street I believe so check check see if we all oh, these they're small bets okay let's see if we can see if we can get a bet in let's see if it goes full full now, obviously if somebody's holding two hearts they're gonna call eight cents I will never see him holding a queen here so we're gonna over bet make it look like we have a queen we don't want a flush draw coming in Let's see if they fold to this bet not looking good but they didn't hit a flush can they be holding the queen did they slow play the queen on us I'm gonna check back give it up I think we won yeah we had showdown value with the four I was figuring they were on a flush draw I overbet the turn and they called. So we do have some people that are playing pretty loose at this table, and it shouldn't be hard to get unstuck here. If we get unstuck, I'm going to call it a wrap on this video because I don't want to keep them too long. And then I'll just run another session and make another video out of it once we're unstuck. Because I know you guys don't want to sit here and watch two, three hours of poker play at one cent, two cent. Now, for those of you that are learning, maybe, but for those of you guys that just want to see poker hands, you guys are going to watch three hours of the smallest stakes in the world. The object is to get ourselves unstuck and to reset and start over again with $10. For that, we need $1.96. So we will be raising this from under the gun plus one, I believe, to 10 cents. Just don't want to get three bet here. Because Ace Jack isn't that great facing a three bet pre flop. Let me take it down. An ace in the big blind is never too bad, especially when it's not. When it's, that's, I still consider that a middling ace. It's at the top of the middling ace range. Definitely not a bad hand to defend with. We can defend with this hand. Except we flopped absolutely nothing. And they're going to give us a free card. This gives a straight draw and a flush draw. Not too much that's going to get us off this hand. So we need the six or the club. Don't know how good our club flush is, but we're going to find out, I have a feeling. You're going to check back or take me to value town. Huh. Am I getting taken to Bayou Town? No, I'm not. They bluffed at it. All right. 
Good job. Good call. That flush was slightly smaller than the nine high. I would have at least thought before I called. I would have rather made the straight than the flush, put it that way. Nine high flush can't be too confident with when they're bombing the river like that on a four card flush board. Fold the good old Doyle Brunson 10 deuce, but I think it has to be offsuit to be the Doyle Brunson. Uh, if I'm wrong on that, let me know in the comments. But I think the Brunson is 10 deuce offsuit, or does it even matter? I don't know. Queen of five is a fold. So here's how you get stuck a bunch and get it back. Not my most proud moment in poker vlogging online micro stakes, but maybe we'll get unstuck and triple up or double up the next session. Ace King suited. Fourth best hand in poker. We'll go ahead raise this up to 10 cents. I don't know why I just decided on my standard open to be 10 cents on this table. Maybe that's a little much. Maybe people think that I'm being too aggro. I just decided on a 10 cent open at this table. Don't know if I'm getting raked more for that or not. Or if I'm getting raked at all if no one calls. I'm not sure. That could be something that I'll look into. But I know I'm five cents up from that hand, I believe. Well, no. I'm not. I think I had 435 before I started that hand. I don't know. Like I said before, once a hand's over, I pretty much forget about it. I need to start paying more attention. Ace 8. Similar to the hand we had last big blind, which was ace nine with the nine of clubs. Now we have ace eight in the big blind. I think we can defend with this one also, depending on our raise size. And we don't have to make or to call a raise. We have a gut shot for a three. And two over cards to the board. So we will be calling a bet here. Especially one that small. Oh, we had we had backdoor options too. So we hit nothing. Do we call down with ace high? Or do they check back? Uh, at this point, they're making a pot size bet on the river. We've got ace high. They can have it. No harm, no foul. 13 cent pot. Ace eight again. Same hand. Same suits. Except we're on the button this time, so we're going to do our standard 10 cent open. It's a 5x raise. Maybe it's a little too much if we want to maximize profit potential here. We just got 3 bet. 3 times our raise size. So this will be... I wonder if he thinks that I'm just raising every button. I mean, I'm obviously folding here. I'm just Hollywooding for a second. Maybe if I flat that, I wonder if he still makes that raise. Used to be my favorite hand in poker when I was bad. And some of you guys may say I'm bad now. But 
Everyone's entitled to their opinion. I never claim to be a poker wizard. I just play poker and vlog it and send it out there to you guys if you want to watch it. You're a flop second pair there. I'll leave that up. My folded cards, I'm going to start leaving up for you guys. Usually I don't look at that because sometimes it gets a little tilting when you turn quads or something like that with a hand that you folded. Don't really have a read on anybody right now. I know, well, the, uh, the other slim left. I knew he was three betting a lot or raising a lot from the button. I know Crab Trap likes to raise on the button when I'm in a big blind. And Cincy Joe does not like to get pushed around. Those are the only reads I have right now. All in. Look at this. Call Ace 10, King 10. Wow. Okay, we have a suited Ace. I love to play my suited aces. At least take a flop with a suited ace. Especially, you know, ace eight and higher. I think ace eight's my cutoff. Not with suited aces, but with any ace. I'll play any suited ace for a reasonable price. We got me and the small blind. And we flop. And that flush draw. Don't know if we'll get action. Well, we got what we wanted, but the board paired. Not too worried about the set there. I think they would have tried to defend against the set. To the flush draw on the actual flop. I'm gonna bomb this and make it make it look like we missed something. Alright, we didn't bite. It's a fold. So we were stuck about this amount of money this 433 we were stuck about that now we have that in our stack a dollar 64 to be unstuck What did we have? Four seven nothing. <coughs> Five takes it down. Pair with a flush draw on the turn. Ace King suited. Fourth best hand in poker. I know I've said that before. Glad we aren't as card dead as we were when we first started. Oh, that was bad. It wasn't a long period of time, but it was, it was bad. Made a few mistakes early. Now we are coming back. I'm not afraid to splash around with this hand. Especially at these stakes. And Crab Trap was button raising, like we suspected. So we took that one down pre flop with a three bet. 
this guy, this KDB character, seems to always have it. The last time he went to showdown that I remember, he had pocket queens. So we're gonna leave him alone. The same. I don't think he's gonna get any action. Nope. Uh. I uh, wish I could just lay back. Well, I kind of can lay back, but I need the whole camera aspect here, I guess. I might start narrating these as I play without you seeing my handsome face in the little box to the left. Just the screen and my voice, and that's it. What do you guys think? Do you guys need the square box with my face in it? while I talk through the hands or do you guys just need the screen let me know in the comments because if I can just use the screen then I can lay back and lounge and play a little more comfortably but if you guys like having me there with you not a problem just let me know in the comments what you guys prefer me in the box or just the full screen of the table and if you guys want to see more poker, please subscribe because I'm going to be doing these videos a lot. By trade, I am an audio producer. I make and sell beats online. And I kind of got these poker videos mixed in with the same YouTube channel. So if you subscribe to my youtube channel there will be a mix of poker videos and micro stakes and youtube rap and hip-hop instrumentals which are quite good oh and we're doing this thing now i forgot i should have told you guys if you guys want an easy 25 dollars Every Tuesday, I'm making a beat, and I've made hundreds and hundreds of beats in my career, and I give them names so I know what beat I'm talking about. Well, after hundreds of beats, it's getting hard to name them, so what I'm doing is, after I make the beat, I post it on Slum City Beats Facebook page and ask you guys to help me name the beat. If we choose the name you suggest, we will give you $25, whether you want a money order, a PayPal, however you want your money. But if we use your name, we give you $25. All you have to do in the post, write the name of the beat, and you have to use the hashtag afterwards. Hashtag name this beat. Then like the post and share the post to your own timeline, and you're in. If we use the name that you suggested, you get the $25. And that is every week, so you can make, you know, an extra $100 a week if we keep picking the names that you provide us. And the Facebook page is facebook.com front slash slum city beats. S L U M city beats. B E A T S. We're going to bet this. Because I think we could just take it away. And I was right. Just took that one away. Money's not coming easy here at this table, especially the dollar fifty five that we need to make. So we'll take the money when we can get it. I'm right with you guys if you think this one cent, two cent stuff is a bit boring. But you know, once we start to stack up, I might do just a really long session of one cent, two cents, so you can see a lot of hands. Because with the nature of our small free stack, you know, if we're playing two cent, five cent, or five cent, ten cent, we're obviously going to be folding a lot more. So even if I, you know, get up to you know, 40 50 60 dollars I might come back to this one cent two cent play for three four hours and just you know upload a ton of hands for you guys to watch 
it's one thing that I look for in YouTube videos and I think a lot of other people look for are just hands they want to see hands play out they want to see different angles people use to play certain hands different way hands are played and defended and so forth and we would have rivered the nuts yeah the nuts on this hand but who plays 4-7 offsuit wouldn't have saw that unless I was in the uh, big blind and even then it would have been a gut shot on the flop and we were under the gun, so not a great place to play 7-4 offsuit, even though it would have turned into the nuts. Now, I'm not going to 3-bet this guy. He raised under the gun, which is pretty strong, and he's been showing decent hands and decent aggression. So we're going to flat with ace-queen. He could have ace-king, he could have kings, he could have queens here, so just going to flat. See what happens. The proper move is to bet here. See what happens. Not going to go crazy with it. This guy does have the tendency to put people to the test, so didn't want to raise too big here. Didn't want a three bet pre flop. He does have position, he folds. This other one I don't mind calling because small, small blind, big blind. Okay, well, sometimes I have a tendency to analyze a little too much. Ace Queen, good. Okay, we're going to raise this with an ace against the small blind, I mean the big blind. We have wheel cards and an ace. And I figured that was a pot that we could pick up. And if it wasn't, we had the ace. To be very unlikely, small and big blind are both holding an ace in their hand. So with each hand won, we get a few pennies closer to being unstuck. I wish we would have played a little bit smarter in the beginning. What do we have? Hmm. Nothing except for backdoor flush options and backdoor straight options. They're really tired when I make these videos. I can sit and play poker online all day long or all night because it's 11 or 4 p.m. But when I do the videos, for some reason, I just get tired. Maybe I talk too much. Okay, we are in the cutoff with an ace, so we'll do a standard open here against the button in the blinds. Button might pick that off. No. Nope. All right, so that was a standard steal there. Eight nine suited, good hand. I think we'll probably just flat though. And the reason I'm flatting is just the just the feel of the table, just the dynamic of this table. Uh, Cincy Joe seems like a strong enough player to contest a few pots. So we can let him raise and put some money in some pots once in a while. Yeah. And we will call. Yeah. Okay, we flop bottom pair. Back door straight. A lot of cards that can come on the turn that can increase our equity. So it all depends on how much he bets here. The two overs to our pair. And we picked up the gut shot. 
we have a pair. He checked. Picked up a gut shot. We need a seven to complete that. Seven or an eight should be good on the river. If we're not good now. And we pick it up. So the eight was good. And the tables do seem a little soft. I thought Cincy Joe was a worthy opponent here in the beginning, but I guess he just had it. They don't have it. They don't seem to be playing poker, which is good for us because we can pick up pots when we don't have it. If they don't have it also. Since when do you need good cards to win a pot? I'll turn the AC back on. I'm always turning it on, turning it off. It gets hot in this room. Uh, stretch the legs. Uh, okay. Dollar twenty seven to get unstuck here. Didn't really think that that would happen today based on the, how bad I was playing when we first sat down. Dollar twenty three to call this a wrap on a very bittersweet session of getting stuck four dollars in some sense and then hopefully getting it back. We'll see. I could just stack one of these dollar and some change hands, then we'll have the job done. Not like that. We're stuck a dollar twenty seven and we were stuck like four four and a quarter, four thirty, four forty, something like that. Two buy-ins just went. But I'm starting to get in the swing of things. I think I just folded two pair. Did I fold two pair? Yep, folded two pair. Oh well. Happens all the time. Happens all the time. I remember years ago, probably eight, nine years ago, when I used to just dwell on Folding those good hands or those bad hands that would have resulted in being really good strong hands. And I used to get upset, but then you know you have to realize well, what are you doing in the pot with Jack Deuce offsuit anyway from the under the gun position? It should never be in there unless you're raising with plans to triple barrel that particular hand. You shouldn't be in it. I would think Jack and Deuce would probably still be a winner here. I don't see any two pair hands unless somebody's maybe playing 9 7, but I doubt it. 8 9, so second pair. So yeah, we would have definitely won. Queen Deuce, let's get a walk. Can we get a walk? Crab Trap's gonna button raise the blinds. Maybe we can three bet him again. Let's try to three bet this guy. Let's see what happens. He folded to our last three bet. And he did it again. 
So I guess I am paying attention a little bit. He is raising every button and folding to every three bit. Hmm. You know, a lot of you guys at home might see this as a little nitty, but I think I'm going to be folding this hand. Well, he only, he only has 54 cents behind. He only has 54 behind, so we could potentially have two overs on this guy. potentially have two overs on him or we could just be beat you know what it's a penny we'll let it go probably a bad fold but we wouldn't have flopped anything and I'm sure he's getting it in here nope. he's queen ace king oh we made a great fold we were third in that hand against ace king and ace queen, so we made a really good fold. Most people won't fold that, at least pre flop, especially to a short stack. But I just had a feeling just had a feeling that it wasn't right. We're gonna open. I meant to do 10 cents. If we can get through the blinds, just pick up dead money. But we will not be defending that. Good three bet. A little frustrating. I meant to do 10 cents, but I don't think it would have mattered in that case. He wakes up every once in a while and does something. How you change avatars? I change my avatar. I don't want an alien. I don't want any of these. This one's cool. Kind of looks like my dog. I have a Labrador Retriever that is black and white. His name is Tyrone. And he's a puppy. He turned a year May 12th. He's my buddy. You know, it's true what they say about a dog being a man's best friend. I do have a life, though. I have a beautiful fiance. Two gorgeous baby girls. 111 and 15. Kylie and Mia. Shout outs to Kylie and Mia. Although you shouldn't be watching poker on YouTube. is a fold. Just want to use the hot key. So I just turned the air on now I'm cold. Try to blanket here. My Green Bay Packers blanket that my fiance Brianna got me for my birthday last year. And my birthday is coming up next month. If you guys want to get me anything for my birthday Really appreciate it. Uh, October 26th. I am a Scorpio. That's why I got the Scorpion. Here we go. This is comfy. I just wish I could kind of kick my legs back. Oh, not flush. And trip queens. Wow. That's a cooler. Pocket fours. We're going to flatten set mine. We will call the raise. We need we need a re-raise here. Too many people behind. Especially people that are a bit chip happy right now. 
trigger trigger happy, itchy trigger finger. So we'll just call the raise and set mine. Applied odds are okay. We'll get unstuck almost if we hit a set and win. Now if this is top set, that would mean that we could lose to a wheel or straight draw two through six. Because it would have to come ace two four, two three four, blah blah blah. But we get nada. No love on the flop. No love. Let's check that. If anybody has a jack they should be checking here. Don't expect them to have the jack and to be betting on a rainbow board. So let's see if a check raise will work to represent the jack. See if we can represent that jack. This we might be a little spewy right now. Maybe we shouldn't be doing this. I just don't see him having he must have a very, very strong very, very strong king. To be calling down. Yep, he's got us. Ace ten. Oh he called her all that money with a gutter ball. Wow. Didn't even have a king. He had a gutter ball the whole time and got there on the river. We were ahead the whole time. I knew he didn't have the jack, and he just did not stop. What a donkey. And, you know, I'm not one to berate players, but kill the rats. You are a donkey, my man. Oh, that's so frustrating to see an asshole play a hand like that. Behind the whole time, he's got a four-outer. I mean, he's got he's got one over card to the jack. Four outs for the straight. What an idiot. What an idiot. But you know what? If anybody has the chips, I'd rather it be him right now than anyone else. Wow, I can't believe he played the hand like that. And there's a four on this flop. So we were beating him the whole time to the river. My intuition was correct. Well, not quite correct. I thought he was beating us with a king, but would eventually fold to what seemed to be an eminent jack. Wow. Flop set of fours, and they just lost. Anyway, I thought he'd fold to what he would eventually assume was a jack, and he hit a straight on the river. What an idiot. I bombed that. I bombed every street on that hand. Now that was not a bad bluff. He bet the flop. He's not going to do that on a rainbow board with a jack. Unless he suspects that somebody would have king jack, but even then he's only getting flatted and he would never know until the river. I just knew he didn't have the jack and he shouldn't have been making those calls. If we had ace 10 there, we would maybe peel one and fold. Wow. How he got there is a mystery. Now I'm a little tilted in calling this for the price that we're getting. Of course, calling a hand like this is very optimistic and we're getting nothing. Thought about putting move on him, but it's too soon. Too soon. He just saw the uh, pocket force hand. So, wow! Can't believe that guy called without a jack or a king. King for that matter. That's what, that's what I put him on. Just so such bad play. Come on, this little slider is so. Sensitive. I want 10 cents. That's what I want. Ah, what a frustrating hand. 
frustrating turn of events. We're running it up, running it up, getting unstuck. Now we're down another dollar. So we're into the game for six. We're stuck two fifty. I know it's not a ton of money, but it's the principle. We're trying to play good poker here. But that move should have worked. On anybody else at this table, that move would have worked. But that guy just played the hand like an idiot. We're gonna we're gonna cold call a three bet here on the button with deuces. I think that's a standard play. It's a min three bet. Let's see if we no four bet. And nothing on the flop. Wow. If I could peel the deuce, the great forty. 20 to win. I'm getting 4 to 1, but I also have a 2 hour with implied odds. Ooh, I was close to a deuce. Deuces were good. Did he just? Yeah, deuces were good. Ace King. Deuces were good, man. So what do you do here? Just get a pair and just hold on to the river. Well, kill the rats. Just gets an ace and holds on to the river. Awkward table to play. Very awkward table to play. There's the fours. Be hard to lose with pocket fours there. Come on, let's pick up some hands. Looks like we went card dead again. Up, oh, snowman. Let's see what kind of damage can happen to us with these. A little tilted, a little impatient. We'll probably get it in on a three bet here, or at least four bet. No action. Queen Jack. Put some more money in the pot. Come on, guys! It's one cent, two cent. We got to get these pots built. I got to get unstuck here. Build the pots. Build the pots and let me flop the nuts. Take that one down. That helps a little bit. These pots are so small though, it's going to take forever. If it took this much time to lose it, it's going to take this much time to get it back. Oh, how long is it going to take us to get to a thousand dollars? Maybe I should have started at five cent, ten cent. I always have the best luck there. It's hard. It's, it's, I'm not going to lie, it's hard to take the money seriously when you're buying in for two dollars. You're playing one cent, two cent. You're, you're playing with pennies here. Imagine sitting at a table, playing, a real poker table, playing with pennies. It is hard to be patient. But if anything, you know, we just get out of this session and we'll start on a five cent, ten cent next session. I don't recommend this one cent, two cent horseshit.
But for what we're trying to do, I mean, it seemed like the best stakes to start with. To nurture a $10 stack into a thousand. We have an open ender here with an overcard to the border, the king. We're good. Holding that unless it gets folded around. I'm looking for a decent squeeze here. I haven't really seen the right scenario to do it. There's seven cents in this pot. Why in the world would we squeeze here? I should have folded. Yeah, nothing there. Ugh. There's my beautiful fiance right there, if you can see that. That is Brianna. Shout outs to Brianna. Love you, baby. She is downstairs. I am here in my office. Playing one cent, two cent with pennies. Wasting my time. Well, not, I can't say I'm wasting my time. I'm giving you guys content and giving you guys hands to watch. So, If I can help one person out there and maybe improve their game, that'd be great. Or if I can be here to answer questions for any newbies that have questions, great. I'm all about it. All about helping out. Maybe stuck today, but this is the first video you guys have ever seen me stuck. Or at least, maybe ending the video stuck. But it happens. You know, it happens. It's my first time ever playing once in two cent. I'd like to see Doug Polk or Phil Hellmuth play. Well, Phil Hellmuth would play once in two cent pretty pretty well, I think. But I'd like to see like you know guys like Doug Polk and uh, play once in two cent. It's not not it's not something that I need to grind to uh, build a bankroll. <laughs> Just something that I wanted to try, you know, turn it ten dollars into a thousand. But I should have started on five cent ten cent. Definitely should have did that. Our deuce. Brianna's sleeping. I'm messaging her downstairs to see what she's doing or watching. I think she's sleeping. It is 11:30 at night. We we tend to be night people though. I do saw oh, we had trips. See these bad hands always turn into like something pretty strong, but could be crushed right now after that full in the river. Doubt it, but could be. I'd like to see that get looked up, but we're not going to see it. Oh man, come on. Squeeze play time. Is it squeeze play time? Squeeze play. Squeeze play time. Ah, I'm bored. Let's go for a squeeze play. Just because I'm bored. Be 
nice and flop the nut straight. Oh, we got a call, so no squeeze here. Wow, he really let out on that. Is he making a move? Or does he just have a king? That one didn't work. Not happening again. It's a long session for one cent, two cent, to be stuck two dollars and fifty cents. Safe to say, things are not going our way. So if we cashed out now, we start tomorrow, or to later tonight, I don't know, with a stack of seven dollars and fifty cents. We put that on two cent, five cent, or five cent, ten cent. I think we just go ahead and play the five cent, ten cent rather tightly and play when we have it. Keep forgetting I'm here on the big screen. It doesn't matter because nothing's much is going to happen here. No squeeze. Just middle pair. Kill the rats. I really want him. I want his stack so bad. I want his stack so bad I want him to float with middle pair. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Keep betting that king. Bet that king on that flush draw. Let's see what happens here. I'm not going anywhere. Let's see if I can get a don't call out on this guy. I know this is very unorthodox play. Let's see if it see if he'll call off with a king. 
No, he's a donkey. So there's a chance he puts us on a bluff, calls off with ace king, king queen, king jack, something of the sorts. The other guy may chase a flush draw. Come on, call it. Call it. Oh, he's thinking. He took his time bank. Come on, buddy. Ah, oh, they both fold. Oh, we missed out. We missed out. Ah, oh. we took a chance, but you know the river card could have hurt us. Obviously, they were in there for a reason. The river card could have hurt. Who knows? We're gonna raise here. Ten cents standard open. He's folding most of the time. But he may catch. Well, huh? He didn't pick it up this time. Ah, we floated with middle pair turn trips and did something stupid and shoved the stack. He did go into his time bank, so we almost got it. Almost got it. I thought by doing something weird and random like that might throw somebody off guard. And it usually tends to do that, especially if somebody was sitting on a big king. So we have a gut shot for six. And we could also turn a ten for an open ender. We'll see what develops on the turn. Nothing. We still need a six. Only a six, really. Maybe even a jack. Ace does not help, and it completes the flush. See if we can represent that flush. Ah, no. He hits the river. He had a gut shot. God, these players. But that one's okay, though, because I think that went check, check, pretty much. Okay, we've been raising in the cutoff. So we're going to continue raising in the cutoff, especially holding an ace. Players on this side, Cincy Joe, KDB, and the small bond right now. These guys look, I can't even pronounce that. They're kind of weak. They only really play it when they have it. So it's kind of easy to spot when you need to fold against those guys. Kill the rats. It's just a douchebag. We're looking to get his stack. I have a little bit of a more of a handle of what's going on now. That's kind of good for us. Unless somebody's holding spade. Ah, if he's holding a spade, he'll call. No spade, no spade. He'll probably just go ahead and put him all in here. Unless he flopped it. Thanks. Thank you. We finally, finally stacked that idiot. I knew it wasn't going to take much to stack that guy. You guys probably were wondering why I shoved with the trips. That was, it was to get him to do that. And you were probably wondering why I shoved that hand. And it was to get him to call on a draw. So we got the call we wanted from that guy. I knew if we were going to get an ambitious call down for somebody to draw out on us, it would be from Kill the Rats. And that's exactly what happened. So we got what we wanted, and we are 56 cents away from being all the way unstuck, according to my math. 56 cents which we can get in this game probably three pots. Who do we have? Four or five.
So glad I got him a car on that ace high flush draw. So glad it bricked out for him. All right, King Queen. We are under the gun because this player just came. Standard open, ten cents. My standard open, ten cents. See if Sensi Joe wakes up and three bets us. Nope. Does not. get a raise. Might take a flop and try to crack this guy. Maybe take a flop here. We got the chips. We'll take a flop. Hmm. Get back to a flush. Let's get up two aces with the ace of hearts. Let it go. Good job. He always has a way of getting me to put chips in pre-flop. And then giving it up. Ah, come on. We just need a dollar to get unstuck. We need to make a dollar. Okay. You guys have seen my videos. How hard is it to make a dollar. Playing online poker. Come on. Let's make a dollar. Hope you guys are rooting for me to actually do this. Instead of rooting against me. I really want to turn this $10 free money into a thousand bucks. Nine seven offsuit, I don't mind it. A big bunch. Sure, why not? This KDB always plays with the decent hands. Gut shot for an eight. Backdoor flush, nine high. Can we chase an eight? Can we hit it? Can we hit that eight? Running nines or running sevens. I don't know if that'd be good or not. Depends on what we're up against. Running nines would be bad for seven eight. Jack doesn't do anything but help us with the backdoor flush. And at this point, I don't know if 9 high is good enough or not. That 8 would still be good if nobody has the flush yet. But this KDB guy always gets the best of me. We're drawing for a heart or an 8. And the price is right. Ace. In the 10, the only two cards he could have to beat me. So we had the third nut flush with the 9 hunt. King, Jack, Queen is on the board. So the ace. And the 10. Yeah, we had the third nut flush. Ace 10, though. <laughs> of hearts would have been a little flush. Alright, we can defend with a king here. I mean, complete the blind with a king. Sensi Joe, when are you going to do something, bud? 
Okay, we got a king. We got some cards we can hit on the turn that would favor us. Like an ace of clubs. Or a six of clubs. Or six of anything, really. Eight of clubs. A lot of cards on the turn that could hit us. Plus top pair. Now, if this folds around, we've been able to squeeze for these two blinds here. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. If I think if I do this successfully again, this would be three times in a row. Maybe, maybe three times, but not in a row. I don't know. I do know they fold when they don't have anything. Since he Joe should have already, one of these guys should have already picked up on my button raising. I'm raising the button a lot right now. Yep, see, there he goes. He four bet or three bet my button raise. And I don't have enough to call him. So let's hope next time I button raise him, I have a good hand because I think he's already picked up on that. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to flat here. I'm just going to flatten set mine. You know, I should be raising. I have a little raise. Min raise. Min raise. We can still call it three bet. I was waiting for him to ship it. Got shot with a seven. We have no club for flush draw. Somebody's calling for something. Do not want to see a seven of clubs because then I'm going to get stuck. Ah, oh, we rode a full house. This is wonderful. Is straight. Thank you. We are unstuck, ladies and gentlemen. We are unstuck by 36 cents. Started the day with ten dollars. Got into the game for six. Now we were up on the game 34 cents. So this whole video, we made 34 cents, but we burned through two buy-ins very, very quickly. We're down four dollars and something, and on our last buying of two dollars, we got it all back. So, this is Slim with Slum City Poker showing you how to get stuck and unstuck in the same session, and we're going to call it quits on that. See you guys, and hit subscribe, please, if you want to see more poker videos. We're taking this ten bucks and we're running it up to a thousand dollars. 34 cents at a time. See you guys.